When I purchased my Haas TM1, a friend of mine asked if I would machine the parts to make a weightlifting center. This video tells the story of how the crossbar was made. I think it turned out really well in spite of a few stupid mistakes, due in no small part to some very good luck. If you happen to watch this and see some something stupid, or something that could have just been done better, please leave a comment and let me know. The part is designed in Fusion 360. It's pretty simple, 42 and a half inches long, with 19 center holes, two inches apart on one set of opposing sides, and 20 centered on the other set of opposing sides. My machining plan recognized that the Hawes TM1 has 30 inches of travel and the crossbar is 42 and a half. The first step was to create a straight reference surface on the tubing end. With the straight surface machined, I sent a drill and drilled my first hole which I use as my reference for moving the 3x3 tubing in the vices. This is my first stupid mistake. I should have used a 1-2-3 block or gauge block rather than the drilled hole. The, the drilled hole provided a, uh, a reference but it was, it was crappy. The next step was to create a stop so I could accurately position the 3x3 tube in the vices after I rotated it. I had a 3x6 chunk of aluminum angle that was perfect. It was about a half inch thick. I cut a 10 and a half inch slice out of it, mounted it on the outside jaws on my center vise, and cleaned up the edges with a big end mill. The plate is then center drilled aligned with my table's T-slots and uh, drilled with 13mm uh, holes to take the half inch bolts. Uh, you'll notice I center drilled three holes but only drilled two 13mm holes for the half inch bolt. I decided the center hole would have been redundant and I really didn't want to poke a hole in the top of my vise so this was uh, another stupid thing that I almost did. But avoided. I moved the x-axis to my, my zero point, um, align the tubing with it, and position the stop. Again, shouldn't have done this. Should have uh, used a known gauge block to position the part. When I drilled the hole with the 25 mil silver and Deming cobalt bit, I might have uh, been running it too fast. So being an, another maybe silly thing, uh, I ran it at 427 RPM and with a plunge rate of two inches a minute. I talked to the vendor and he thought it was the tool's fault and he's sending me another one uh, free of charge. It's coming from China, uh, AliExpress, the company was drill force. So, uh, I'm happy about that. In the meantime, I'm going to cut the holes with uh, three quarter inch Harbor Freight end mill. So the Harbor Freight end mill is, uh, is very inexpensive. It actually did a pretty good job in this case. Here I'm drilling a 13 millimeter hole intended as a reference point to move the tubing. All good except when I checked the length, it was 1 16th too long. Recognizing my brain fart, I trimmed the piece to the right length and positioned the stop correctly with a 1 2 3 block. From this it's a very simple process to mill the last holes, chamfering the, the edges and uh, in finishing the part off. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you don't mind, subscribe. Thanks.